What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I will not be reviewing Avengers Endgame. I refuse. There are many reasons why I won't review it, but I will share some of my thoughts with you. But I will give you probably the most important piece of information you need for seeing Avengers Endgame. And that is when are the best times to be during it. Because in over three hours with no intermission, if you are a large icy guy like me or gal, or you're a big soda person or your bottle of water person, whatever the case may be, three hours in a theater... You're going to have to make number one. You better hope it's not number two. But in this case, I'm going to give you some good tips on when you should hit the head, uh, take the Browns to the Super Bowl, uh, drain the main vein, whatever you might be into. But uh, there are a lot of reasons why I don't want to review this movie. You know, I have been teasing. I've been kicking around the idea of reviewing some films just because it does naturally kind of fit into my content, specifically because I'm so hypercritical of films, I feel like uh, a lot of the marketing around them, I feel like I should probably take the time to go see these films and uh, and give you a, an honest feedback for them. Now, I did this with Shazam. I was in the theater. I took notes. I, I shot the review. And I just felt like, man, I don't know if my audience really cares what I think about a, a movie. To be honest, I enjoy viewing um, aggregate user reviews. That's what I rely on. That's why I'm so vehemently in defense of user reviews on Steam and places like Epic Games that take them out of the user's hands disgust me. Which is why the beta of uh, the user reviews for ExclusivelyGames.com launches today. Why won't I review Avengers Endgame and instead talk about when to pee during it? Because I don't think there's any point in expecting someone else to view a film the same way I do. I also don't think that after 22 films, 10 years, 11 years... That it is my place to tell you whether or not to see a film. Now, there are people that don't want to support certain actors of the film, and I understand that. And obviously, I disavow sailing the high seas, but there are always screeners out there for those people that choose to take advantage of that. Uh, and obviously, I disavow. But I don't want to ruin it for people. To me, it's different. Like, I will absolutely do a review of uh, of Terminator uh, Woman Edition this summer because I'm sure it will be horrible. But also, as a longtime Terminator, Terminator franchise fan, I feel like I can speak on it from a fan's perspective. But also, admittedly, publicly, I've talked about that. I do like some pretty universally bad movies. I love Paul Blart Mall Cop. Here Comes the Boom. I love all those movies. Um and I know they're cheesy, but who am I to say, geez, you know, the biggest film ever, uh, here's what you should, you know, do or don't do or don't see this film. There's just too much damn emotion tied to it. People that have put a much of their adult life into the MCU, uh, they're either going to hate it, they're going to love it, but it's not going to matter what any critic says. At this point, people have already made up their minds uh, on what to feel, how to feel about the ending of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for most of us. Now, obviously, Disney wants to continue the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but there are irreparable changes that happen in this film. Uh, we all know that, you know, actors like Robert Downey Jr., uh, you know, Chris Hemsworth, they're, they're ready to move on. And to me, the MCU will always be. Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, the Incredible Hulk. And I'm not sure that you can just put new actors in these roles. I'm not sure that, uh, you know, I want to live in this another, yet another alternate universe where, oh, everything's just fine now. Or this, you know, it's just played by a different actor. Now, Spider-Man has been played by a lot of different actors and it's actually worked okay. Uh, I still have my favorites, but... For me, Robert Downey Jr. will always be Iron Man. Chris Hemsworth will always be Thor. 
You know, Ruffalo will always be the Incredible Hulk. Scarlett Johansson will always be Black Widow. You know, and it's just, it's the end of an era. I'm happy for it to end. Uh, I think when you watch this film, I can at least say that it it will fulfill that. But, and what what would I say about the graphics and the sound and, and all these other things about a Marvel movie, which basically consistently sets the bar in terms of CGI and 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 soundtracks and 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 all that kind of stuff. Well, I talk about plot holes. Well, every Marvel movie has plot holes. Um, this one is no different than that. Um, but what I will say about the film, and I will say this somewhat cautiously, is that it is a lot of fan service, which oftentimes is frowned upon by games journalists or 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 film critics i need to think of a, a a pun for film critics that are also bad but f the fans deserve that uh, after 10 years and i mean if you saw every one of these films you're talking about what $500 in investment um i think uh, and more more valuable is the time you know 22 films you're talking about 50 60 hours of film watching the culmination, I think, for a fan is excellent, well-deserved, um, and it won't matter if you personally like or dislike the film. I think it will be very hard to hate it, it you know, but some people maybe will, um, but it puts the fans first, and that's what I will say uh, about the film with the Russo brothers. Um they didn't do a lot of the, the gimmicky stuff I thought they would. Uh, there is some cheese ball girl power mo moments. But for the most part, it is a, a masterpiece of fan service and something that I don't want to ruin by saying this, you know, pointing out little mistakes with the film or plot holes or little things I didn't like. Um, because I want more directors and more cinematographers to remember the fans, especially in these longtime franchises where they try to reboot them disastrously. <coughs> Ghostbusters <coughs> 2016. Um, and, you know, we've got a new Ghostbusters movie coming out, which I'm hoping will be what Ghostbusters 3 should have been, but never was. You got to remember the fans. You've got to remember that people get tattoos of these superheroes, of these characters. People get tattoos of, of catchphrases. People have legitimate romantic, you know, fantasies about these characters. Uh, you know, Scarlett Johansson, just letting you know. Uh, I mean, you as ScarJo or Black Widow, both high quality. But I just want people to enjoy it. So instead, I'm going to focus on probably the most important part of uh, seeing this film, because I know many of you likely will. Uh, when to pee? That's right. When will you rock a, a, a go deep, rock a hard number one? Uh, when will you, um, you know, you know, one. When the San Francisco title card comes on the screen, this is one that was suggested to me and one that is basically true. Now, these are not really any spoilers, so don't worry about it. But the San Francisco title card comes on the screen. Um, now, I would highly recommend stopping right before the film. I will tell you now that the last hour and 20 minutes of this film, no breaks. It is nonstop action. I thought the first chunk was actually pretty slow they could have cut a lot of it in my opinion but regardless when the san francisco title card flashes on the screen um they rehash a lot of stuff that we already know uh if you've been following the mcu so now is a good time to go secondly uh also good recommendation when hulk is having lunch um this is about a third of the way into the movie uh it has some laughs, um, but, you know, you have about a 10-minute window here where you could go. And, and you're going to see people because people have seen these articles. People know. 
Um, you're going to see people getting up. I promise you that. Uh, and then there's a third time. Uh, there is a, a New Jersey title card that comes up as they move from location to location. So San Francisco, rock one. When Hulk's having lunch, also rock one. And I think that you should do it anyway, even if you don't have to, because you're not going to want to miss the last hour or so. Uh, the third one is when the New Jersey title card comes on the screen. Uh, again, this is probably your last possible time to go. Uh, there are no good spots in that last third of the film. Um, you know, obviously, if you have to go, you know, I don't think I think it will be frowned upon for you to use your popcorn bucket. Uh, it will probably be frowned upon if you hear somebody refilling a Gatorade bottle in the in the film. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, we've all been on long car rides before. I'm just saying the stadium buddy is a thing if you have to. Now, I just recommend you you could just San Francisco title card when the Incredible Hulk is having lunch or when the New Jersey title card comes on the screen. These are all good bathroom breaks, especially if you're familiar with the MCU and everything else going on. If you're going to see Avengers Endgame this weekend, I hope that you have a good time. I hope that the film gives you everything. I'm just, this is a positive, a hey, positive Friday. Thumbs up for positive Patty coming in on a Friday afternoon, taking over for the quartering. I hope you enjoy it. If you're not interested at all in Endgame, cool. That's also fine. Do something else nice. It's supposed to be nice this weekend, except here in Wisconsin, it's 70 degrees yesterday, and we're supposed to have five inches of snow on Saturday. So I will probably be uh, staying inside. But regardless, it's the end of an era. I think that the Marvel Cinematic Universe molded a lot. It, it changed the game in so many ways that you've got to respect it. Uh, where it goes from here, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm I'm not interested anymore. I'm done with it. I think 10, <laughs> you know, 22 films is enough. Uh, I, I've seen everything there is to see in, in the in the Marvel universe, and now I have my closure. And uh, I think that that's um, the best way to treat the fans. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you again real soon.